Welcome to the Press Box, Oregon men's basketball today. The discussion, Steve Mims from the Register Guard here with Austin Meek, our columnist. Uh, Oregon heading down to Iona to play, into Sacramento, excuse me, to play Iona on Friday. Uh, the Ducks will head out Wednesday night and have a practice for the fans to an open practice on Thursday. Starting off, Austin, talk about the bracket. Oregon, there was some talk maybe if they won the Pac-12 title, they'd get a one. If they lost, they'd get a two. The Boucher injury maybe knocks them to a three. Come out about what you expected? Uh, I thought Oregon was going to get a two, but it's pretty clear that the Boucher injury did knock them down the line. They were the top three seed. I think they were would have been a two seed if Boucher hadn't gotten hurt. But I actually think the bracket works out okay for them. Uh, obviously, it would have been preferable to be in the West, but if they had to leave the West, I think this is about as, as good as they could have hoped for. I actually think Oregon has a better draw than Louisville, which is the two seed uh, in the Midwest. Because I think the winner, you know, assuming Oregon gets past Iona, which, you know, who knows, upsets do happen in this tournament. But if Oregon wins the first round, I think whoever they face in the second round, either Creighton or uh, Rhode Island, I think that's a pretty winnable game. But then once you get on to Kansas City, if, if that happens for Oregon, then it looks pretty tough because you got potentially Louisville waiting. And if they get past that, Kansas and Kansas City, which would be difficult. Yeah, and you look at Iona. I mean, Iona's not one of these kind of, you know, 30-2 and two teams that made this long run. They finished fifth, fourth or fifth in their conference. Kind of a team that got hot late. Um, so you, that looks like a pretty good matchup for him, kind of a smaller team. And then if you look ahead, Creighton, you know, if you're going to get a six seed, you want one that's lost, what, seven of their last 15 since the point guard went out. In fact, Rhode Island's being picked by a lot of people to beat Creighton. Then you're looking at maybe playing a, a 14 and 11 seed. So at least for the opening weekend, the matchup seems somewhat favorable. Yeah, you know, Creighton started 18 and 1, and then their best player, their point guard, point guard got hurt. Uh, and they've been just kind of, you know, average since then. And so I... I don't see Dana Altman losing to his old school if it comes to that. I, I just don't see it. Could be wrong. Um, and, you know, I'll say this, too. People talking about Oregon playing Kansas and Kansas City, potentially it's a long ways down the road. But if it happened, I guarantee you no Kansas fan would feel good <laughs> about that game. I, I followed Kansas basketball my whole life. Kansas has had some games. You know, they played Stanford and Kansas City a couple years ago in the second round and lost. Um, Kansas has had some chokes in the tournament, so I'm not going to say if it happened, Oregon couldn't win that game. That was a Johnny Dawkins Stanford. It was, yeah, not, not a great, great Stanford Montgomery ones at all. by any means. No, I think that's the thing. I think people look at that second weekend and say, oh, Oregon should get through the first weekend. Then you got Louisville and Kansas. As you mentioned, upsets do happen. I, you know, Louisville could get knocked off. We could see Kansas go down. So I think I think the worry for Oregon fans is looking ahead, but I think you probably want to kind of let, let the first weekend play yeah, out, definitely. get through it, and, and see who's waiting for you. All right, lastly, obviously, Boucher is out. We saw Oregon give Arizona a good fight, 83-80 without him. Now they got four days to, to kind of plan without him. What do you expect to see kind of the adjustments going forward? You know, I think with a week to prepare, Oregon will find a way to cope without Chris Boucher. Obviously, it's not going to be the same team. And the thing you really lose with Boucher is is the mismatch of a guy who's 6'10", 6'11", and long, but can step out and shoot it. You know, Cavell Bigby Williams has shown you know some flashes of, of being a capable player and is similar to Boucher just physically, but the thing he doesn't give you is the ability to step out and shoot. So Oregon's going to be a different team. They definitely lost a, a major weapon, but you know, I have some faith in Dana Altman with a week to prepare that they'll figure out a way to use Cavell, um, to use Keith Smith, to maybe even use Roman Sorkin. And you know, they're not going to be the same team, but I think they can be okay, and I think they can find a way to offset that loss. Yeah, I wrote about Cavell today, who played 14 minutes against Arizona. I still think that might be about his ceiling. Mm -hmm. In my mind, Dana, you know, unless you're in a blowout, he's going to kind of ride those six they've got. And if it means playing Dylan Brooks 40 minutes, if he can stay out of foul trouble, and Jordan Bell, and playing your six guys 30 to 40 minutes, I think Dana would do that. You, at this point, you've got to you got to win and move on. So I think he'd do that even if it was a, you know, the first round game against Iona. If he had to run him in knowing they only had a day off, I just don't think he's going to experiment right now with Sorkin and Smith unless it's in a really good situation. Like I say, I think we'll see Bigby Williams in there, but if he struggles at all, I think Daniel will kind of stick with his six and, and kind of ride those guys out. All right, well, the uh, NC2A tournament begins. Get your brackets in. Tournament starts Thursday. Ducks, like I say, will be practicing that day in Sacramento. Play Friday. Get your, uh, get your breakfast and... Uh, Game starts at 11 o'clock against Iona. We'll be checking in with you from Sacramento, so follow us on Facebook Live down there and uh, enjoy the tournament.